shout out to my brother for helping me set up the lighting because I'm not technically advanced like he is. Hey guys, it's Katie. This is my first video, so that's probably why you've never seen my face before. But since it's you guys' first time here, don't forget to click the subscribe button below. For my first video, I had a really rough time. What I decided to do pretty much was to just kind of introduce you guys to myself and just information and facts, like random stuff that I like, random stuff that I maybe don't like that much. Alright, so here we go. So what I decided to do for the first part of this video is to kind of just introduce you guys to myself. And so my name's Katie. I'm kind of obsessed with candles. This isn't mine, but it was here and it kind of reminded me. Yay! In my dorm room, we have two of the little smell things where you heat it up, where it like has a light bulb that heats it up and it like melts the wax. But we have two of them and they both look like elephants, so we call them smell elephants. <laughs> And I'm honestly sure that we have enough smells to get us through all four years of college if we wanted to. Something else about me is that I'm kind of obsessed with 21 Pilots. I saw them the day after my graduation and then I'm going to see them again in 24 days. I am an avid Netflix binge watcher. Okay, you guys are probably thinking, I watch Netflix too, I binge watch Netflix. I watched the TV series Raising Hope, which is four seasons, 22 episodes each season, and then a half an hour episode each. I started and finished it in less than a week, possibly even just five days or four. I'm watching How I Met Your Mother for the third time. Grey's Anatomy I've seen twice. Friends I've seen once. I've seen The Carrie Diaries once. So leave your comments below what your favorite Netflix show is. I'm on break right now but I do go to college. I am studying to be a graphic designer but I'm thinking about switching to psychology because psychology has kind of just interested me a little bit more recently. I'm thinking about doing graphic design kind of as a hobby more than a career. My dream job would probably be I'm a psychologist in ERs and to talk to people who have like gone through mental struggles and who are there because of suicide attempts or something like that. I've heard so many people say that they've had such bad experiences with people and doctors and stuff when they're there. I've heard of people who get laughed at, who are constantly asked, why the heck would you do this? Why would you even think about it? And I kind of just want to be someone there to talk to them and help them through whatever they're going through. I used to sing in middle school and high school and then I kind of drifted away from that in college, but I did start acting in high school, and I do still in college. I was in eight shows in high school, and I've been in two so far in college. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. I'm not even kidding. I used to be a really, really shy kid, and even though I'm still pretty shy in person, I opened up a lot throughout theater in high school and now through college. And I've gotten to know some of my best friends. When I was a sophomore in high school, I got to be a girl named Ermengarde in The Matchmaker. And I was a complete crybaby. And it was great, except it kind of changed my person, like myself, because <laughs> I ended up bringing my character into who I was. And it was funny because all my friends would be like, okay, shut up, Ermengarde. Go away, Ermengarde. Leave. We don't want you. <laughs> One of my other friends who's actually in college with me too, I was married to him three times. I was married to him in The Matchmaker. I was married to him in Fiddler on the Roof. And then I was married to him in a skit we did in a drama class. Another thing is that I do have a boyfriend. His name is Eros. We met in high school. We went to the Dominican Republic together for a mission trip, which was crazy and amazing. And I'll probably do a video about that sometime and like show some pictures and just talk about my journey throughout that because it was probably the most like eye-opening and fun experience I've ever had. Back on topic, we met in high school and then we're in college together now and we actually didn't tell each other what college we picked until we both picked them and we ended up going to the same college which is really nice because I get to see him every day. We've been dating for a little over a year. I'm super thankful for him. You guys will probably see him on here sometime. He doesn't actually even know I'm making this video right now. But yeah, He's great, you'll probably see him every once in a while. I'm doing that thing where you take a second, one second video every single day. Pretend like you 
promise we're doing something because I promise we're doing something and it's not worthless. <laughs> that I have an Instagram and Twitter that you can follow at right here. Just click the button. And if I can't figure out how to do that, then I'll put a link down below. Leave comments for any videos that you guys want to see. Thanks for watching.